While the means to harness the sun's energy using solar panels has existed for decades, the UK has been slow to embrace this technology. The combination of political will and cash subsidies is finally driving its take-up. London-based company Solar Century has been a pioneer in promoting solar energy and with this new impetus looks set to lead the way. Better known for its grey skies and unpredictable weather, is solar power really a realistic way of generating electricity in the UK? Solar Century has the answer. Holding a C21E panel on my hands, uh, this is roughly producing around about 11 volts. 20 of these on a roof, uh, even today's low light conditions, would provide around about 30% of your household electricity needs. This solar roof tile is just one of a range of photovoltaic products which Solar Century believes will help transform the UK from a fossil fuel economy to one powered by renewable energy. We think we've done the biggest variety of installations with different types of solar of any company in the world and we want to take that and develop into it into really innovative products. We're in existence to help save the world from global warming and help lead this wave of innovation that's coming down the track in this wonderful, exciting and very fast-growing industry. But it's not just about technology. It's also about influencing and converting important players like the building industry. To do this, Solar Century gets involved as early as possible, working with architects and developers in the design, planning and installation of new buildings. It's put them in pole position to respond to the new wave of public opinion and legislation in favour of renewables. We do in the region of 60 to 100 projects or more each year. And this has moved from a company that does a few hundred thousand pounds in turnover to millions. There's a, certainly a huge shift. Concentrating on larger projects means it can increase the number of solar power kilowatts per installation. Transport for London is the latest to get aboard with a demonstration installation in its office. It's tied to the Greater London Authority plan to reduce carbon emissions by 60% by 2025. I had my bosses coming to me saying, what are you talking about? We need to, we need to have some demonstration projects. We have to try and work out how we're going to deliver our, um, our climate change action plan. With this demonstration project, we've got six kilowatt of peak solar power. Um, that's feeding directly into the building. Ultimately what we're looking to see is what percentage of the building's base load we can um, supply with uh, this level of photovoltaics and potentially in the future you can see how much space we've got on this roof we could put in second or even third array. Housing developers are now waking up to the idea of incorporating renewables from the foundations. Welcome to Kennet Island, a new housing project in Reading. This is their environmental showcase home. We did a survey of 100 people who visited the Enviro home and the solar hot water tiles came out as the number one feature that most people would like to customise their home with. And in second place, the photovoltaic tiles. The technology is proven um, and the tiles come with a 25 year warranty. They're self-cleaning, there's not a lot that can go wrong with them. There are plans for more solar tiled roofs in the next building phase, as developers have seen that new houses with solar tiles generate more interest and sell faster than those without. Although there's a price premium, it's an investment in the future. In the long run, it's paid back through lower electricity bills, while saving nearly half a tonne of CO2 emissions a year. Schools are also starting to equip the next generation with an understanding of renewable energy. When Herne Hill School needed a roof for its new extension, it installed solar century roof tiles. The sun shines onto them and makes electricity, and then we don't have to use the electricity stations because it pollutes. They don't cause pollution, and it won't, um, and it's not bad for the environment. Going down the solar route has been an education for the staff here too. I just love our solar tiles. It blends in so beautifully with the roof we have. Um, when, when we go to the electricity cupboard and actually when we don't use that much electricity at the school and the sun is fully shining, we are fully self-sufficient with this. And then the meter actually goes back a little bit. And, and it's just wonderful to see how we feed back electricity into, into the grid this way. 
There's still plenty of roof space with the potential for solar energy installation. Solar Century's next target is industrial scale roofing. It's developing a one kilowatt rated module that can be installed quickly in high volumes. We're particularly pleased with this product because it enables us to get solar photovoltaics up on a, an industrial roof really quickly by the kilowatt and also angle it across the roof using these fixings in a way that maximizes the production because it faces south always, which our previous installations haven't been able to do. So we're going to spend the money on improving the fixings and also dissemination because you know we've got to be uh, evangelists about this. There are vast acreages of industrial roofing out there just waiting for this PV, adding value to industrial operations, and that's the message we've got to get out. So we'll spend some on marketing as well.